This is the home Timothy Jones Jr. shared with his five children before they were reported missing on September 3rd. I was able to speak with a neighbor who says she is shocked and appalled at what we now know happened next. Dorothy Wood has lived in her Lexington home for 11 years. During that time, Timothy Jones lived right next door with his five children. Dorothy says she remembers walking with the children from the bus stop and can still hear their laughter. They were normal kids. Every day playing, I mean, and they back right up to my property here. So you'd hear them playing out there. They were just your normal kids playing outside like every other kid. Kids who had a father Dorothy admits she didn't know very well, but says he never seemed like the kind capable of such a horrific crime. He waved and stuff. He wasn't like me, one of those people that wouldn't wave. He acknowledged your wave and so he, he seemed really nice. This is just so shocking to me. It's shocking to everyone in this community, including Lexington County Sheriff Lewis McCarty, who has been in law enforcement for 50 years. I'm a father and I'm a grandfather. And um, in all of my years of law enforcement, I have never seen a case like this. It's appalling that anyone could do that to children. I was a single mom, I raised two boys and they were all boys. So it, it appalls me to see there are so many things you can do other than kill your kids. Why kill them? These are innocent children. They don't deserve this. Their lives are cut short. They have, they could have given so much to the world and we'll never know. A question this community will struggle to answer as they band together and try to make sense of a tragedy. In Lexington County, Stephanie Howling, Watch Fox News.